Alright. Taking a tour of the River Avon. Hi everybody, it's time to leave London, but today we're gonna go to the city of Bath. It's about 100 miles away. We're gonna take a high-speed train. Should take about an hour and a half. Let's get on the lift. Go down to the lobby and check out. I'll be back here, but for now we're gonna go further into England, to the city of Bath. It's an old Roman city. It was named after the Roman bath that were there before England was there. All right, I got my seat. We're on our way. We will be passing by the Heathrow Airport area. This train doesn't stop there. We're just passing through. It's a different train that goes there. The town of Reading should be next. It is about one third of the way to Bath. Looks like they have some pretty modern looking buildings here in Reading. That looks like it can be an office of some high tech company in Silicon Valley. That train you see across the way looks totally different than the one we're on. That looks more like a local train. I didn't get a chance to get a video of the train we're on while I was boarding. Now we're coming up to the town of Ditko. Ditko Parkway is the name of the station here and it's more than halfway to Bath. And look, we even have some passengers that are gonna be getting on. It seems like most of the other stations were pretty much empty. And this is the town of Chippenham. So we got one more stop and then we will be in Bath. All right, I'm gonna make my way towards the exit. All right, here's the stop for Bath. We're gonna get off. All right, we made it to the city of Bath. Six minutes. She's gonna find our way, find the hotel, check it out. It's funny to see a Paramount Pictures ad all the way out here. I think we should go this way. Well, that's a really small tunnel. I wonder if people back in the day have to get off their horses and walk them through here. The uh, city is here, so the hotel should be very close to the train station. Wow, look at that. Beautiful looking city. I'm glad it's a nice, beautiful day as well. Ah, there's the train station. You can hear that diesel engine from the van right here. There's definitely way more diesel-powered cars here than we have in the States. I've noticed that. I've also noticed that everything here is a lot smaller and very old, from the smaller streets and the smaller sidewalks. I know it's pretty obvious going to Europe, it's just that your mind is used to certain sizes and dimensions and when you come here it takes a few days for your mind to get adjusted to the smaller sizes of everything. Nice English gentleman just helped me out with some directions. He was local. My GPS does not work here, but he said I'm on the right path. And it should be right after that blue and white sign. Wow, everything here just looks beautiful. Though. Looks like we're walking by an old church with a cafe next to it. And the next building, I believe, is one of the buildings for the University of Bath. And across the street from that is the Bath Police Station. So I guess that way they can keep an eye on the students, make sure they're not partying too much. After I get checked in and settled, we're going to have to walk around and explore this beautiful city. We're coming up to the hotel. I already see it right there after this parking lot. So I left my luggage at the hotel. We're going to go explore and then come back later to check in. So I ended up 
this thing got a place right across the street from here that's the hotel looks like there's a beautiful hillside there but we're gonna go down here and explore some lunch options so let's walk into town and explore a little bit I haven't had lunch yet so I did find a very highly rated Jamaican chicken place I might end up there but let's walk into town and we'll see what other options are available and maybe do some exploring and look around this beautiful city nice beautiful old architecture here everywhere I look so it looks like we're coming into town here or at least a big square with a lot of places it looks like a cafe Queen Rocket. Oh, they have pancakes, looks like. I think I'll keep going for now and see what else is around here. So we're going to walk around, check out some sights also. Wow, this is definitely a beautiful city here. We'll see what's, what's going on around. It feels very relaxing. It's a nice, mild day and definitely compared to London this just feels like you're on vacation here it's a nicer slower pace of everything and with this mild weather it just feels perfect looks like a park or a big garden right below us there so I see that Jamaican chicken place on the left hand side I think I'm just gonna get that for lunch so I'm going to start making my way over there. I'm waiting in line to get my chicken meal. Street food. And a little bit of Ireland. On both, yeah? Getting some chicken. You don't need to take. All right. Time to eat my lunch. Hi guys, so I just got my hotel room. I got checked in and bath. I thought I would give you a bit of a room tour. It's common to have tea and biscuits in the hotels and I like this cabinet here. It's got a tea kettle with cups for coffee and tea and Cornish biscuits or as we call them cookies in the US. It's got a nice little desk here. I love that old school phone. That's a nice touch. King size bed. That looks like a heater and air conditioning. Is that a chase lounge? And uh, some nice artwork about the city and the Roman bath. Got two windows. Well, I think I did okay on here. The bathroom, too, kind of lets you know you're in bath, <laughs> judging by the bathroom. You have this beautiful tub. So it's uh, downstairs, it's nice and quiet here. Like I said, it's kind of away from the hustle and bustle. All right, anyway, that's my room and bath. Just taking out of sight from the lobby of the hotel. Just taking a quick look around the lobby area. But we came here to see the city, so let's go outside, guys, and we'll do some more exploring. Yeah. I walk down here, end of the block, looking at the River Avon. Take a look at that. Apparently, Jane Austen, the writer, lived here for a long time. A notable resident. 
a stunningly beautiful city in general. Um, but I would like to go and uh, explore that area by the bridge. Parade gardens. So apparently it's a private garden. You can pay two pounds and go down there and hang out in that garden. But you can see the whole garden from the top here, so unless you want to sit down in the grass. I don't think you want to go down there because the view is from here. Lemonade stand. There's that beautiful bridge. Yeah. With a restaurant on top of the bridge. I should get a picture of this. There's people on the boat taking a tour of the River Avon. When I left Los Angeles, I started off next to the L.A. River saying how I'd like to take a look at a beautiful river when I'm in the U.K. and here I am looking at River Avon. I was thinking River Thames and I just came from London but I haven't had a chance to look at it. But I will go back to London, hopefully take a look at the River Thames and uh, the Tower Bridge. Some people call it the London Bridge, but I think it's actually the Tower Bridge. So, the beautiful River Avon running through City of Bath. Wow, look at that seagull just chowing down. He's got some fries. <laughs> 